The time, fall 1979. Turning from all the political strife in the world, America escaped into the World Series. Good old World Series. Trouble was, TV night games didn't end until 2 o'clock in the morning. And everyone had a different reason why. Well, Channel 11 Godfather and General Manager Don Roberto Morse had his pulse on the finger of the problem. Finger on the pulse. You know, it occurred to me the reason the World Series night games last so late is because it takes so long to sing the national anthem. I mean, you think of those people expect someone to write a movie about their lives after they're singing. <laughs> That's why today we're going to have the Sing the National Anthem at next year's World Series contest. Our entrants are standing by and ready. First, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Robert Goulet will sing the National Anthem. Thank you. Oh, 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 I'll see. Oh, 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 oh. Say. Oh, 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 say, uh, say. Uh, say, can you? Oh, say, can, can you? <laughs> Next. Next. And now to sing our national anthem, Marvin the Gray. Whoa, baby, get, get down. Hey, get, get down, down, don't, don't you? It would have taken him an hour and a half to sing the song. You better hurry find some money, boys. I'm running out of bullets. Next. Our next contestant, little 27-year-old, Wilson Jeter. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. Oh, so can you see brothers? I've been the brave. Hey! 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 Now, say that's the way the national anthem ought to be sung, so we get on with the game. But perhaps you have a positive viewpoint. And perhaps you'd like to enter next year's contest. <laughs> Vinny got a point. This is Godfather Don Roberto Moss. Have a happy day. In the fall of 1979, Don Roberto Morris and his TV lab mafia barely missed a Nobel Peace Prize when they came up with the Guide to Discriminatory Language. And Don Roberto's implementation of the semantic police, watchdog of improper references, I'll never forget during the World Series. Willie Stargell at bat, and here we go. There's a hot grounder to the shortstop. And hold it, hold it. What? Shortstop discriminates against short people. The phrase now is mid-stop, or simply stop. Ah, uh, okay. And it caused quite a problem for disc jockeys, too. And now, here's Peter Bob and Mary, Ladybug, Ladybug, fly away home. Hold it. You can't say ladybug. Lady is a judgmental term. From now on, make it person bug, person bug, fly away home. Oh, you're right. Peter Paul and Mary and person bug, person bug, fly away home. And the semantic police caused quite a problem concerning affairs also. Oh, darling, darling, I love you. No, no, I'm sorry. Darling is no longer approved. The acceptable phrase is the person's name. Try it again. Oh, person's name, person's name, I love you. That's better, I love you too. It's time now for another entrant in the Burbank Gossip Hall of Fame from WHAS. Today's award goes to Mrs. Belle Ringer of Springer, Kentucky. Mrs. Ringer was solely responsible for the tragic whispering campaign in 1974, I'm sure we all remember, that resulted in the breakup of 32 engagements, destroying 19 marriages, ruining the reputations of 45 single women, all named Vi, by the way, and damaging the careers of 29 young business women and men. Mrs. Ringer was eventually shamed out of Kentucky and is now living with her lips stapled together with the stipulation that she must never gossip again or her head will be melted down and sold at auction. On the phone with me now is Miss Rail, Miss Ringer. <coughs> right, uh, oh, your lips are stapled together, that's right. Well, Miss Ringer, how do you feel about being chosen as uh, another entrant in the Gossip Hall of Fame? <coughs> what? <coughs> You're all excited. Thank you. Good. Well, we would like to send you a handmade gossiping flag showing two giant flapping lips over a field of cross telephone wires. Thank you, Miss Springer. Goodbye. <laughs> Say there, busy executive. Wouldn't you like to be able to make use of time you normally waste? You know, times like when you're caught in a traffic jam or waiting for a judge to set bail for your kids. 
Wouldn't it be great if you could use those times to take care of your correspondence, dictate speeches, or record notes to yourself? Well, now you can. Thanks to Burbank's all-new Pocket Secretary. Yes, Burbank has come up with something brand new. This is not just another one of those dumb little tape recorders. This is a real pocket secretary. Hi there. Yes, I'm a living, breathing, exceptionally small human being who takes 210 words a minute shorthand. I type 95 words per minute, and I make a pretty mean little cup of coffee, too. Before you leave the office, just pop me into your pocket, and you're ready to work anywhere at any time. Just watch where you sit. Okay, back into my pocket. <laughs> Ooh, when was the last time you changed underwear? Ooh. Sorry, babe, it comes with the job. Ring, ring. Yellow. Yeah, this is Sparky Tedwig. Oh, yeah, please let me shake your treat this afternoon discussing your topic. You know, speaking of football again, that's all you won't talk about here lately. I don't have a topic. Well, sorry, I mean, because I got another football game on tonight. Uh, yes, I love football myself, person. You know, you know, you know, I you. feel the same way, yes. But you, but you know what I think, though? Uh, what? I think, personally, myself, you know, uh, I played football when I was a child. You did? Oh, oh. yes, I was a football player. Oh. But you know, our games was much more exciting than the NFL. Why you think oh, say yeah. that? They shouldn't well, be. That's professional. because our pig skin uh, still had a pig in it. Had a pig? Come on. No, that's true stuff. Yes, no, it was it's, very exciting. You played with a pig? It wasn't very easy, though. Well, how was that? I mean, that? have you ever tried a flea flicker with a pig? I can imagine, oh, yes. yes. And we had a lot of fumbles, too, you know. Oh, yeah. Only in our case, uh, it was called coughing up the pig. <laughs> I see, yes. That's what it would be called, I guess. <laughs> that's uh, my brother, Eugene. Uh, right. Okay, well, look. <laughs> he thinks I'm the daddy or the radio. You yes, sir. There. Okay. Uh, yes, you know, but you know, when, when you have when you're playing with a pig and not really a you know a pig skin, you know, mm -hmm. you have to be very careful recovering the pig too after the fumble. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little devil could bite. Mm. Oh yeah, you go and jump on him. Oh, oh she hurts you. Yes, sir. Okay, but a pig thank you. Could also slow down your passing game. Uh, how, oh yes, how? Mr. Mess. I mean, you know, our quarterback he could throw a perfect spiral with that pig. Really? That's but that's nobody wanted about... to catch it. They, why not? Well, because it usually made the pig sick. You know, oh, when you throw the pig, he's throwing yeah. a spiral, you know. Oh. Every, you catch it, you know, mm. the pig. <laughs> okay, thank you. you, you know, I understand, yes. Spinning I... around in the air. Right, you're, oh, in, you're right. Okay. Our, our ends used to change uniforms four or five times a game. Oh, but, for sure, yeah, I can oh, see. Oh, yes, thank and you. the punter. Uh. Oh, it was rough on them, you know, because sometimes when you try to punt a pig, you and your foot gets stuck. It, well, I'm not going to tell you that, that yeah, on the radio, right. okay, though. Please yeah. don't. Yeah. Radio. Yeah, well, Mr. Metz, it's been real nice conversing on your topic. I'm not you know, Mr. Metz. Reading the, the folks in the, in the, in the audience. Uh, and the, uh, yeah, then I'll oh. check you later, Bubba. Yeah. Uh, Back. Why, hello. I'm Mrs. Burbank. If you're a parent, you know how you can worry about your child. You know that accidents happen easily. And if you're like most parents, one of your biggest fears is that one day you might accidentally throw your baby out with the bath water. Well, now your worries are over, thanks to Mrs. Burbank's Baby Savers. Yes, Mrs. Burbank's Baby Savers is a patented rubber suction device that allows you to temporarily, but firmly, attach your baby to the side of the tub, to the soap dish, or to the ceiling. Just pull the plug to the drain and your baby stays high, dry, and safe while your dirty bath water beats a hasty retreat. So why court disaster any longer? Order your baby saver today. Send $9.95 to Mrs. Burbank Baby Savers, Battle Bath, Michigan, member FDIC. Also member, this is WHANS, Louisville. Welcome, friends, to ABC 2020 ABC. TV. ABC, the 2020 is... newscast Wait a minute. with you down. Wait a minute, this is ABC. We're a CBS affiliate. How did ABC get in Thank here? Thank you, Morley. Hey, wait. Well, this is Hugh Downs at 2020, Call where you can believe in television. You get somebody in We're here. all professional journalists and ABC only report on. the facts. What's wrong this is that? our main mission in ABC. TV news, only the facts. I, I and with this I in hear. mind, this report with Geraldo Rivera. Then you're wearing my shoe now. This is Geraldo Rivera. And uh, today we're going to, we got to check into the story, the Hamilton Jordan used cocaine at Studio 54. We have engineer. some people to interview, did he use the cocaine or not? I am talking to his friend, we will not mention the name. Uh, you went to Studio 54 with, uh, with uh, Hamilton Jordan, did he use the cocaine or not? I can positively, irrefutably, no question about it, say, I think so. And how about the owner of Cloud 55? Did, did you see Hamilton Jordan use the cocaine? Uh, will this uh, get any less time in prison? 
I don't know. May uh yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. I saw. Okay, yeah, I, I say yes. Pretty conclusive, huh? But we have more proof. We have ABC Here is the news. man who say that he yes. immersed the cocaine to Hamilton Jordan, Mr. Johnny C. Very outstanding individual. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I did what? You gave it to him, stupid? Yeah, I, I gave it to him. Little short guy. No, he's a bit tall guy. Oh, yeah, a blonde. No, he's dark. Oh, right, right. I gave it to him. Oh, what'd you get? The money. The cocaine! Oh, yeah, that too. Well, that conclusively proves that something happened that night. We feel our obligation to bring that to you. This is Geraldo Rivera. Adios, muchachos. Why do we have ABC? We're a CBS affiliate. Thank I'm you, Geraldo Rivera. Here? This is Hugh Downs at 2020, to reminding you that oh, at this program we try to be factual. And if we're not factual, but, uh, may lightning strike... Things are returning to us now here at uh, WHAS. This is Gary Burbank. We're a, a CBS affiliate. I don't know what happened. I don't need you anymore, Mr. Engineer. Uh, we're a CBS affiliate. Suddenly, we ended up with ABC 2020 TV news on there. I do apologize uh, for you folks who thought we were going to have CBS. I was one of them. I apologize to myself. Uh, I don't know what happened. Sorry. Uh, WHAS, this is your pronouncer, Gary Burbank. And now, with a report from the meeting of Superintendent Ernest Grayson and the school board, here is Jim Jim and the action Cam Cam. Come in, Jim. Yes, thank you, Gary Gary. Well, right now, there seems to be a lot of confusion in this meeting of the school board. Uh, let's go down to Louisville Last Night reporter, Tom Van How Do I Look, for this report. Tom? Thank you, Jim Jim. Well, from the reports we have, this all started when Anthony Gamboa took three of Ernest Grayson's Crayolas and the coloring book, which Mr. Grayson had not finished yet. Uh, then Miss Haddad and Mr. Dietrich started throwing sand on Mr. Gamboa. Oh, wait a minute. Now Mr. Wooden, I mean, sorry, Wooden, <laughs> is trying to hit Miss Haddad and Mr. Dietrich with Legos. Uh, hold it. Uh, Mr. Grayson has thrown a whole handful of Tinker Toys at Mr. Gamboa. And well, Jim Jim, I'm afraid the whole scene is <laughs> getting out of control, so back to you. Well, thanks to Tom Van, how do I look? for that report. Well, we're going back now. Uh, no, wait, Gary, don't take it yet. Something very strange is going on. Yes, it's... it's. It, hold it. One of the Kentucky board observers is going to the piano, and yes, I believe it's it's music time at the board meeting. Oh, that should be wonderful. Music time at the school board meeting. Mr. Grayson and the entire board are going to sing now. Let's turn on our microphones, Tom Van Hollow, and get this song. We all things up As we always do We just use the room that is tried and true Broken record to play Play it every day And we play it to the kids Their parents and the PTA Blame it on the rushing order That is our excuse Blame it on the rushing order Up to a Dr. Seuss We're so busy fighting to get Wait, worry about the kids some other day. Blame it on the busing order. It's our excuse. Is it your inept? No, no, the busing order. That you are adept? No, no, the busing order. Accept? No, no, the busing order. That's our excuse. Oh, Daniel! 